Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified next time I create a video. In a previous video, I talked about how I used Xfinity Mobile for three months and how I was able to get my phone bill under $3 per month just by not using mobile data and only using the available Wi-Fi networks that were available wherever I was. By not using the mobile data, that was how I was able to get the Xfinity mobile phone bill under $3. But there are a few dangers to using Wi-Fi, especially Wi-Fi networks that aren't your own whenever you're out and about at a store, at a restaurant and things of that nature. So in this video, I'll talk about how you can use Wi-Fi safely whenever you're away from your, your home network as well as when you're on your home network because just because you're on your own personal network doesn't necessarily mean that it is completely safe. When you're away from home, one of the safest ways to connect to Wi-Fi is to connect to a Wi-Fi network that's actually familiar to you. So if you happen to be at a Starbucks, you wanna to connect to the network that says Starbucks. And if you're not sure if there's multiple ones that are showing as available, you can ask the person at the register and say, hey, you know, which network is the real one? And they can let you know. And the same thing goes for many other restaurants like McDonald's, uh, retail stores like Target. There are lots of stores out there that actually provide free Wi-Fi as a perk for shopping at their establishment. There are some places like parks where you may even be able to find free Wi-Fi. But what you don't want to do is connect to something like Bob's free Wi-Fi or something that just says free Wi-Fi because you're not aware of who actually created the network and who's on that network. But even when you're at a establishment that you know, if you're at a Starbucks, it doesn't mean that you're completely safe when you're on their network because there are lots of other people that are at that store or maybe outside of that store that are connecting to their free Wi-Fi network. And it could be possible that someone on the network could be snooping at the traffic going on on the Starbucks network. And this is the same if you happen to have Wi-Fi at your job or maybe if you're at a friend's house. You always wanna make sure that you know the exact name of the network at your job, at your friend's house or your family member's house. Just ask them. Say, hey, what's the name of your network? I wanna make sure that I connect to yours and not just to connect to anyone that's open and doesn't have a password. Now, another thing you can do is that when you're connecting to different websites, is make sure that it shows HTTPS. Now the S is the added part because there are websites that don't have the S, it'll just be HTTP. And that just means that there's added security on that website. And that gives you a little bit more trust when you're going to a website that you're not familiar with, or maybe if you happen to mistype one of the letters in the website address that you're typing. If you don't see that S, then there's a chance that someone could be spoofing the website or you could be on the wrong website, and it, but it's showing as if it's a legitimate website. So you always wanna look for that S whenever you're surfing the web. And there are some browsers that will actually give you a warning, like Google Chrome, if you're going to a website that doesn't have HTTPS, it will give you a warning to let you know, hey, this website may not be secure, but it will give you the option to go to, to that website if you do want to continue and you do know exactly where you're going. Now, one way that you can lower the risk of using a Wi-Fi network, especially one that you're not familiar with or one that's not your own, is by using a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network. And essentially what a VPN does is creates a secure funnel between your device, whether it's your phone or your laptop, to the different websites that you're traveling to on the internet. And for mobile devices, this includes the apps that you use as well. So what a VPN essentially does is encrypt the network traffic traveling from your phone to the different websites and the apps that you use. That way it makes it a lot harder for people who may be snooping on the network to actually see the data coming from your device. I use a VPN on all of my devices, on my laptops, on my tablets, on my smartphones. They all have a VPN connected. I just like having the added security of using a VPN. Even if I'm on my home network, that way if the connection drops and I get connected to a different network for some reason, I know that my information is more protected than it would be if I didn't have a VPN. Now that you know what a VPN is and maybe it's something that you're thinking about using, can you really trust all of the VPNs? Because if you think about it with a VPN, like I said, it's a secure tunnel that's created between your device and the application or the website that you're visiting. And so that means you're trusting your network activity to the VPN provider. And there are free VPNs out there. There are lots of paid VPNs. 
And so how do you know who to trust? Of course, what you'll wanna do is to check out different reviews of VPNs that are available, whether they're free or paid. Personally, I pay for a VPN because I feel in certain cases, you kind of get what you pay for. I've used a few free VPNs in the past and they weren't as stable and I, you know, I just didn't trust them. Now you have the added trust factor that, let's say you get it from the Apple App Store, it is a little bit safer than it would be, let's say on the Google Play Store. Pretty much anyone can upload an application to the Google Play Store and they do have their safeguards to make sure that the applications on there are secure as well. But there could be a point where you select an app that hasn't been scanned yet or hasn't shown any uh, nefarious activity and they're still taking the data from your phone. With the Apple App Store, it's a little bit safer. It's a little bit harder to upload an app to the Apple App Store that already hasn't been checked out and hasn't been confirmed that it's safe for you. So instead of downloading directly from the VPN maker's website, I would recommend downloading from the App Store on your device. So you may be asking, well, what VPN do you use? Well, the VPN that I've been using over the past couple of years is called NordVPN. Again, this is a paid VPN. I pay about $3 per month for this VPN service. Uh, the price can range from between $3.49 up to $11.95, depending on if you choose uh, like a two or three year plan versus paying month to month. So the longer your plan, the less you'll pay for your VPN. But if you just wanna test it out, you can get it for $11.95 just for month to month. Now there are many other VPNs out there as well that you could check out. Make sure you check out the reviews. But out of the ones that I've tried and out of the features that are available on their application, NordVPN seem like the best to me from the reviews and all of the features that they have and also with the price. So if you're interested in checking out NordVPN, I will have a link in the description that you can use. It is a referral link and I'll have it down below. Make sure you check it out in the comments as well as in the description. But for the most part with many of the VPNs and especially with Nord, because I know this for sure, I've been using it for years, is that once you set it up, you don't really have to do much after that. There are different features like auto reconnect. So if your VPN were to get disconnected for any reason, you can have it to where it totally disconnects any network connection. That way you're never having network traffic going through your device without going through that VPN tunnel. And that's called a kill switch with NordVPN. You can also choose different servers. So Nord has over 5,000 servers that you can connect to in different cities across the US and across the globe. Now this isn't something that I personally tried because I don't use Netflix, but there are certain countries where there are shows that are available in one country on Netflix, but they aren't available in the US. So one thing that is possible is that you can connect to a server in a different country and that may allow you to access the videos for that specific country within Netflix or any other application that you're using. But like I said, that's not something that I've personally tried. So you may want to look that up, but it is an option for you. But one of the most important things, especially for the AJ Mobile Money Nation, if you're like me, you're doing a lot of banking and investment transactions on your mobile devices. So you definitely want that data to be encrypted and traveling through a VPN versus not having any additional protection other than being safe with the different networks that you choose to connect to. So make sure you're protecting your data, use a VPN. I recommend NordVPN because it's something that I've used for several years and I've rarely had any issues. Whenever I had an issue, contact tech support and they took care of it. So for those watching, if you currently use a VPN, leave a comment down below to let us know which ones you prefer, which ones you've tried that you didn't like or did like. And if you have a favorite that you personally use, make sure you leave a note in the comments and share that with the Mobile Money Nation. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current subscriber and you're not a part of the AJ Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I make a video. Again, thanks for watching, have a great day.